Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I've sat down and filmed a video. I've made multiple community updates to give you an update <laughs> on what's been going on with me, why I haven't been uploading, etc, etc. I'm sure you're all aware by now, but if you're not, um, just a lot going on with the Palestine-Israel situation. Um, I didn't feel comfortable posting. I wasn't in the mood to. I wasn't in the mood to just sit in front of a camera and talk when that was the only thing I was thinking about. I'm still thinking about it and it's not over. Um, it's just, uh, I just have to get back to videos. Um, I'm, don't worry, I'm going to keep this short at the beginning. This video is not about all of that. It's been a really difficult time for so many people in this world and it's been really, really, really heavy. And it's been really difficult. The world is feeling to me and I know to a lot of people to be a really, really depressing place at the moment. There is so much going on. There's so much loss of life, there's so much political motives, there's so much horrible stuff going on and it's really 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 heavy and it's, while I don't want to make this about myself, this channel is made by me and I, I have to be honest about the fact that it's really taken a toll on me mentally and I just wasn't, I'm not going to film a video if I don't feel like it and I just knew that if I sat down any time prior to this point that it would turn out to be shit anyways and nobody would want to watch. But I'm here now, I need to come back. Um, my channel has suffered because of it. Um, I know that some of you have kind of felt left behind. I in no way want you to feel that way. Um, I care about all of you very, very much, but I also care about the quality of my content and about my own mental health, and that just was not there. And I don't wanna put out shit, like I said. Um, I mean, it's irrelevant to even say this, but obviously I am on the side of the oppressed. I'm not on the side of occupiers. I also am able to, and think it's really important to separate people from governments and people from terrorism and people from the people that rule them because that's not them. My heart is bleeding for the Palestinian people, not only for now, but for years and years and years of oppression and um, and genocide. I, I'm not going to go on about it anymore. I need to get back into videos, but I did need to say something. I know I released a silent repot last week that was what felt right to me at that time. I'm finding it difficult to even film anything right now, but I need to. But today we are going to repot something. Something I've been doing a lot recently, um, as far as my plant care, I do know that it's not advisable to repot your plants in winter. It is probably better to repot your plants towards the end of the growing season or just at the beginning. Um, that's really when your plants react be best to that because either at the end of the growing season they're already after you know having all this lush root and leaf growth and everything or in spring when you start fertilizing more regularly and the plants are kind of ready to wake up they can really accept that new home in a much better way. However, I'd go against that totally every freaking time because I only feel like I have the time to do a lot of my repots in winter. I also feel like it's a cozy thing to do and I like it. And you know, if you're careful about it, your plants will do okay as well. So I'm gonna get started and have a little chat to you guys while we do that, if that's okay. So if you want to grab a cup of tea, cup of tea or a cup on tea in Irish then we'll get started so the first and maybe even the only plant that I'm going to do today is my begonia linda dawn which is getting quite big um, I can't remember when I repotted this it may have even been in spring this year it has grown a lot <laughs> it looks freaking fabulous loads of luscious um, foliage, 
actively growing a lot um, really really beautiful cut this back quite recently because it was getting really kind of top heavy and scraggly um, and that has just resulted in more leaf growth down below like from everywhere the reason I need to repot it is because it dries out every two freaking seconds which is a good way to gauge whether a plant needs a repotting is that the watering frequency is just constant it is constantly dry it is constantly looking for water which is telling me that it doesn't have enough soil content in the pot to hold on to water for long enough that it needs to so we're going to upgrade that we're going to increase the soil content so that it can um, feel comfy and I don't have to be looking at it every two goddamn seconds so um, we are going to do that so I you know I like these gray terracotta and if I could ever have every single plant in it I would but when you get to bigger pot sizes obviously they get more expensive and that's annoying they're also not as easy to find I find but I saw this really kind of weirdly shaped one in the garden center close to me recently and I just love it although it won't work for all plants this begonia and I'd say a lot of cane begonias it would work really well for um, and it's also in a quite a long pot already so I think it will fit into this quite nicely this was $7.95 which I think is expensive <laughs> I know it's really not but like I hate spending money on pots um, I think I'm going to keep the stakes as long as they are because it's doing pretty well with that I don't need to replace that but okay I hope this angle is okay Forgive my appearance, but I'm really not giving a shit right now. As horrible as everything has been, I do have to say that I did really miss um, making videos and it is really inconvenient. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But really like I felt I had so many plans for um, not only October but November and December and I'd hit a good kind of stride with videos and being really up to date um, so up to date that I had like four videos filmed ahead of each other which has never happened in the history of this channel um, and that has all gone to absolute shit but that's okay that was my choice and I still am happy with that choice but saying that um, we have to get back on a good schedule you guys and I do want to take this moment to say that thank you so much for the support during this time I know it's really inconvenient and annoying especially if you have a creator that you like to watch and they stop uploading and you're like what the fuck am I going to do now I appreciate all of you I appreciate your messages on the community posts I appreciate you somebody said that they'd go back and watch my old videos because they knew my channel was struggling and just I really 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 appreciate you and that's so kind and thank you for kind of allowing me to have this period and being supportive of why I chose to stop I, I just, I really, really, really do appreciate that and I want you to know that. Put a coffee filter in the bottom of the pot, which is my preferred method of kind of stopping the soil from going through the drainage hole. Anyway, so my plans for November, December, I had various kind of educational videos planned for November and then I had some um, kind of more gift oriented, oriented stuff for December obviously it's that time of year um, and so I guess the the plan for the next future videos I have a plant basics coming up which I'll probably upload next week and um, that is on gutation 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 whatever it is you know um, and I actually filmed that so long ago I filmed that way before October 7 and everything so if I seem different <laughs> that is why and um, just a heads up for that and then I also have a video on pl plant products and then December rest of December I am going to upload 
um, a, a mini gift guide that I'm hoping to do over the next two weeks so that you obviously have time to think about that. So if any of you have plant people in your life and you're wanting some ideas, that is coming up soon. And so you can check that out for some ideas to get people for Christmas. And not all of those require money, which is why I love plant things so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's coming. Other than that, I'll probably do a couple of relaxed videos on, you know, repots, plant chores, that kind of thing. So that's on the way. Okay, let's have a look at this. Feels quite dry. And I literally probably only watered this like two days ago. Oh, wow. It's like so perfectly <laughs> held together. That is a good root system. This is why we need roots in our soil because otherwise we would have huge soil erosion. So no roots, soil erosion, <laughs> roots, soil erosion. There actually is a tiny bit of water at the end of the pot, but the roots look really nice and healthy. I am enjoying that greatly. Until that happened. That's okay though. I just want to check. Always a good idea to check the roots. Um, I always want to check are there any like root mealies or anything weird going on. There's plenty. There's some mites and there are some springtails. They're okay. We like them. We have no problem with them. They actually keep our soil healthy. Here's a little close up on how that is looking. I just want to see how that's going to fit in this pot. Well, that's way down. This pot is actually bigger for this than I expected. Um, that's my little dog here <laughs> looking for attention. Um, so we're going to fill up that a little bit more, I think. But yeah, that is dry, dry and root bound, but that's kind of nice. Oh, also, speaking of soil mixes, I am planning a big substrates video. Um, I haven't done a soil mix kind of video on this channel for a long time, like years. Um, and I never revisited it because I wanted to kind of do a full breakdown thing. And I also wanted to spend a lot of time kind of trying different mixes, um, my own mixes but different kind of ratios of things and seeing how that does and um, trying different peat free mixtures and seeing how that does. So I've actually kind of changed up a lot of my soil mixes for quite some time, especially this year to test out what I like and don't like before I make a new video on it. And so I'm ready. I can say I'm finally ready to make that video. So that will be coming at some point. I'm not sure if there will be time to get it up um, before next year, but just know that it's coming. Um, and so you can see that video for a background on everything. I'm also going to give a background on the sustainability of each of the different soil components um, so that you can have that information for yourself and decide which you want to do. Okay, that is looking nice. It's still a bit set down, but that's okay. I kind of want that. I'm going to push one of these bamboos down so that it's a bit stable. That looks nice. It's kind of dark, like, like the plant itself. So many people ask me about this plant <laughs> and what it is. Um, it is. It is truly, truly beautiful. What else is going on? I mean, just general life stuff in the background of everything. Working at me job. We are looking for a house to buy. We thought we had a house to buy and we were really excited about it. That had a little bit of land, but someone else bought it for more money. So <laughs> that's a bit sad, but we are actively looking and um, if any of you don't know, there is a, such a bad housing crisis in Ireland, which I, I know there is in a lot of countries in the world right now, but it's really like soul crushing here. 
It's just annoying, you know? Just want a little bit of land. Just want to work the land, you know? This paper is getting really loud. Yeah, just want to work the land. Just want to have a little space to garden. Want to have a nice, you know, we're not looking for anything crazy. Just want our own house that we can work on, make our own. And it's really freaking difficult and it's annoying. But yeah, we're continuing that hunt. Um, Christmas is coming up, which is, I know, I guess maybe I do want to say this because a lot of people might be feeling the same, but Christmas is feeling a little bit um, weird this year. And I know that a lot of people feel that. Um, last year, my grandmother was very ill and it was like her last Christmas and we all got together and spent it with her, but it was still kind of really sad and she died not so long after that. So it's kind of coming up to a year anniversary of that time. And so it's difficult, it doesn't feel very nice and it feels sad and we all miss her. And on top of that, um, with everything that has gone on in the Middle East right now, I don't know if all of you know this, but my husband is Lebanese and my, therefore that side of my family live in Lebanon and there has been a lot of anxiety over what's going on there. And that has been really difficult and has definitely contributed to how shitty I've been feeling um, on top of what's going on in Palestine. So not that there's a personal connection, but there kind of is because I guess the outcome of this has, you know, potentially effects on them. And so that's scary and causes anxiety for sure. I really need to push this soil down, but this is looking really beautiful. I think we are done here. We have made a nice mess, which is part of the process. But let me show you how this looks. Um, really pretty, I think. I think the color goes so much nicer with this than the white. It's really, really pretty. And I think it will be happy in this. It feels nice and sturdy. We have this bamboo here, which I can, you know, get a taller one if I need in time, but it looks nice. And I really liking how full this looks. And that is a good thing that I must say about cane begonias, especially ones that kind of have spiky leaves like this. I find that if you think they're getting really tall and scraggly, just cut them back. And I find they react very well to that. Like I said, there's new leaves coming on stems that are old and things like that. They just generally become more bushy. That's my experience of it. And also plenty, plenty of the good sun food. Thanks for watching the video. I will be back next week, next week like I said, with a plant basic video on gutation. If you don't know what that is, you can watch the video, but also it is the droplet that happens on the tip of leaves sometimes after watering. And if you wanna know why that happens, you can watch that video. Um, so that's coming up next. Um, again, thank you so much for stopping by and supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate you. We will be back on a reg regular schedule now and um, for the next foreseeable. If that changes, I always let you guys know on the community tab if you don't know where that is that's on my channel scroll over past the videos tab and go to community and i normally upload text posts on there uh, the best place for kind of updates for that is my instagram that's where i'm most active at the moment i am amplifying and sharing and supporting palestinian content and things that are going on it can be difficult to watch but i try not to share anything that is super triggering unless I really have to but that is the situation that it is if you didn't realize as well the description of my videos I will be linking some stuff to do with Palestine in the current situation some journalists have followed that are on the ground in Gaza and the West Bank and um, maybe some things that you might be interested in educational things donation things it will be all there in the description. Guys, I love you very much and thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. So take care. I will see you then.